Reform worship is often described as dialogical. There's a genuine back and forth communication between us and the Lord. God speaks to us and we respond to Him, not just with our listening, but in every aspect of the service. The service then becomes this dialogue between God and His people. We begin the worship service with Scripture, where God summons us into His presence by His Word. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise in the assembly of the godly. Let Israel be glad in His Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. We then might respond by offering up thanksgiving and praise and singing songs to God, giving Him the glory due to His name. God may come to us in His law, declaring His holiness and His will. We respond in prayer through our confession of sin to Him. God comes to us in His word of pardon. We respond with praise and thanksgiving and gratitude through our prayers, through our singing. God speaks to us in the preaching of the Word preeminently. God is spirit and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. One of the things that's such a tragedy today as it pertains to worship is that people think that worship is boring. And one of the reasons that they think that worship is boring is because they don't know God. And when we rightly know who God is, then worship can't be boring because God is not boring.